Hello dear YouTube and friends and welcome to this new video and this is a video that a few of you have been waiting for ever since I released my video of the review of this Logitech Flight Yacht System and Throttle Quadrant at the end of last year. You know I'm going to link that again in the top right. This is setting up and using the Logitech Flight Yacht System and Throttle Quadrant with Flight Simulator 2020. So let's get into this. Okay, so here we are in Flight Simulator 2020. Now the good news is when you plug your Logitech Flight Yacht system into your PC and start Flight Simulator 2020, the simulator automatically detects your Flight Yacht system. And I can show you this, you go to Options, Controls of course, and you should see here Logitech Flight Yacht system. Not only has it detected it, it says automatically assigned a number of a number of the buttons on the yoke to various flight control services and different things within the aircraft. I'm going to show you a few of these. Let's go to flight control services. There you can see you've got your ailerons assigned there, so your left and right of the yoke system, and your elevator, your up and down. Obviously, that's automatically assigned. You've also got your secondary flight control services. Now, decrease and increase flaps. I'm not sure what buttons they are, but these are not the buttons that I wanted it. There's a rocker switch on the left-hand side of the Logitech Flight Yacht system. That's where I normally have my flaps. So I reassign them. I'll show you that in a moment. Also, you'll notice that it's got the elevator trim nose down and trim nose up that's assigned to the correct control that i normally have it. it's this button here this rocker switch here which is basically just handy for trimming your elevator you'll notice that the l the sorry the ailerons <laughs> trimming switch is not assigned i usually have that assigned to the rocker switch here and you'll notice it's not there to get to that you'll have to go to filter here just click on this button to the right and go to all and then we should see the aileron trim left and right and then you can go ahead click in it and like I say I want this rocker switch here it depends where you want that uh, binding set on your yoke system I normally have it on this switch this left and right rocker switch here so what I'll do I want aileron trim left to the left. It will say it's already bind somewhere else. Do you want to bind it anyway? I'll say yes, validate. And then it will say give a new profile, etc, etc. I'm not going to save it there. Because I've already got a few profiles saved and I don't want to make another one. So I'll cancel that. But for yourself, you'll say yes. Type in a new profile name or keep its profile whatever and press OK. I'm going to cancel that. Basically, I've set all my switches up to where I want them. And I've got them in, let's just see, Flight Yacht System profile there. So I've got my ailerons trimming, for example. As you can see there, trim left and right to that switch. I've got my elevator to this switch. And in fact, I need to remove the rudder left and right because I've got them bind to the same switch as the ailerons. So I'll clear that input and go validate. And I'll clear that input and go validate and then apply. So basically, go through your switches and your controls on your flight yacht system and assign the buttons to where you want them. Remember, if you can't see them, because it's on assigned, it's it's showing the assigned buttons. Just go over to all and that will show all the switches and all the control services available and then you can assign whatever you want there. 
Okay, so now we arrive at the meat and veg of this video, the main topic. How to alleviate that dreaded dead zone area on your Logitech flight yolk system and how to set up your yolk so it feels natural to fly within Flight Simulator 2020. So to do this, we go to options. We go to controls again. I'm actually going to leave that on the default settings. So this is the way that you'll find it when you plug your flight yacht system into your PC and you start Flight Simulator 2020. We go to sensitivity. So we'll click on that. And as you can see, this is the way the simulator sets it up as default when you plug your flight yacht system into your PC. So you've got your pitch trim setting there and your ailerons there. Now you can change these sliders and set it, change it and then test the, get into a flight and test it to see how you would like it set. I'm not gonna save that to that profiles again. I've got enough profiles up there already. But basically you'll change it and then set it to the way you would like it. I'll go done there. I'm not going to apply that. I'll go to my profile I've got set up there. Click in the sensitivity setting again. Now I've got mine to be, I've got the sensitivity set at 50% on both and I've got the dead zone down to zero. This is where I find it suits me better. The flight yacht system feels natural within flight. It feels like a proper yacht far more than it ever did in Flight Simulator X, for example. These settings are far more in depth. Play around with them to the way that you would like them, but that's how you would change them. You would slide the settings to the way you would like it. Put it back to 50% there, come on. This is the way it feels natural to me. And I'm gonna show you this in flight. So there you go, I've got myself set up and trimmed over Innsbruck area. And if I move my yoke to the left, there's no dead zone there, to the right rather, and to the left, no dead zone at all there. With those settings that I showed you before, it feels like there's just enough natural resistance on the yoke itself that it just feels great in flight. So pulling up and pushing down, very little dead zone there, but enough of a resistance where it feels natural. And I've got to tell you, I've never felt a yoke feel so natural. I've never felt this yoke specifically felt so natural and so real in a simulation than with Flight Simulator 2020, the way I've got those settings set up. Have a mess around with those settings yourself. Move the sensitivity settings to the way you would like it and the dead zone area to the way it feels natural to you. And once you've got it set up to your liking, it just feels absolutely incredible. I mean, the graphics in the simulator obviously help and the way the aircrafts and handle within the simulator obviously helps as well. But yeah, the the settings within Flight Simulator 2020, the way you can adjust those sensitivity and dead zone areas, it's far more in depth than it was, for example, in Flight Simulator X, far more in depth. You can really get a feel for the aircraft through using the Yolk system. And it now makes this Yolk system, the Flight Yolk system, the Logitech Flight Yolk system, a real viable option for Flight Simulator 2020. Just feels lovely to fly now. Now, another specific question I've been asked about the Flight Yacht system is how to set up the hat switch for padding your view sort of left and right and goodness knows what and various different views. 
By default, when you plug your Logitech Flight Yacht system into your PC and start Flight Simulator 2020, it has this hold system. So I have to hold the hat switch left to look left, release it, it goes back to central, hold it right, same thing, release it, it'll go back to central. I could push up and it will give me a view over the nose of the aircraft. I can push down, it will keep, take me to various instrument views in the cockpit. Some people don't like that. I actually liked it to begin with, but then I changed it later. I'm going to show you now how you would change that. So you go press escape when you're in your simulator, if you like, so you can test this. Go to general, go to camera, and the button that I find most useful, or the option I find most useful to change, <clears throat> excuse me, there's various different options here, is this quick view option. As you can read there, to the right, hold the input to enter quick view mode, release it, which is what we have it now. If we go to toggle there, it means we, we well, I'll show you what happens. I'll change it to toggle. I'll apply and save. It's important to do that. So it applied the setting, resume. Now, if I go left, I can release my hand off the hat switch and it will stay left. Push left again, it will go back to the normal view. If I go right, same thing. I've taken my hand off the hat switch. It will pan to the right view. I'll click right again. And then I go back to the center. This is the way I prefer it. Excuse the flying here. I've got it on real world weather and real world uh, wind environments and goodness knows what. So my aircraft is being bucketed around. I'm at Kraut Church or something of that sort in the mountains and my aircraft is going wild. This is not a flight demonstration, even though it does look absolutely stunning can never get over how stunning anyway let's not digress so that's how you would change some of your viewing systems with your hat switch now I have a question for some of you out there it's not something that I'm particularly interested in myself but some viewers may be in the camera option I'm going to leave this to the viewers so you can answer this is there an option where you can actually just use your hat switch just to look around naturally? So when you move it slightly left, let's go back to the sim there. Instead of going just far left, it'll actually go in, in increments rather. So left or right rather than just going to the extreme left or extreme right. Like this basically. So if you move it slightly left, you're just going slightly to the left, slightly to the right. And goodness knows what I'm just using the mouse to do this at the moment is there an option in that camera system that will let you do that with the hat switch I'm not too bothered about that at the moment I'm quite happy to use this system where I just push to the left push to the left again it takes me back to normal right push to the right again puts me back into the center of the cockpit I'm happy with that but other people may want that other system where you can just move it around slightly where you want your view to be your hat switch in increments just to where you want your view to be oh, I'm gonna crash the where you want your view to be is there an option within that within these settings to do that I've not gone too deep into that because I'm gonna use my D line clip eventually like a track IR system where I can just naturally move my head left and right that's what I'm looking to set up but I'm quite happy with that hat switch system the way it is at the moment but please leave your comments if you know how to use it in increments So there you go, that's a quick overview of the settings in Flight Simulator 2020 when using the Logitech Flight Yacht system. There's a few more settings you can mess around with yourself there as well. One thing I didn't cover, let's just go, people have asked if you can have auto rudder enabled in this simulation as well. You can, you will find that if you click on options, go to the assistance page and then go to piloting, you'll see takeoff 
auto rudder there, an option there, I've got it turned on. So it means if you're on the ground, you can move your yoke left and right to steer your aircraft on the ground. This simulator more than any other simulator really makes me want to get rudder pedals. I haven't got rudder pedals so far because I wasn't that impressed with the aviation flight simulators out there until I started playing this. Now I'm going to get myself a pair of rudder pedals to use with this. But if you don't, that auto rudder option is already turned on as default so you can steer your aircraft on the ground. Anyway guys, let me know your thoughts about this video, give the video a like if you liked it, leave your comments below, don't forget with that viewing system, so with the hat switch, remember if you can, if you know an option there of changing it so you can move the hat switch gradually and your view will change gradually with the hat switch. I can probably find that option myself. I just want a bit of interactivity with my viewers. So I'm going to leave that open to you. Like I say, give this video a like if you liked it. Comment, subscribe for more great videos and I'll see you soon.